Yeah. Say Jizzle, you so nasty. Make it jump like athlete. What's up, y'all? I'm back. Thank y'all for congratulating me on my car from the last video. And y'all told me y'all wanted to see when my little accessories bling stuff came in the mail. So, I can't breathe because I've been running. It came in, y'all. So, I got this. Okay. Excuse my hair. I'm going to do my hair Thursday. But, yeah, I got this also have this license plate um thing it's blinged out oh i didn't even realize they had the screws and everything in the back but everything i got is from amazon y'all i just put bling car accessories and it all just popped up and i also got this so let me show y'all how everything looks right now so right now it's just plain with nothing on it and i'm about to just add everything and show y'all what it looked like but um i still gotta do the story time by telling y'all like what happened whenever the car went off the road y'all so basically we was driving while i was driving and i knew my tires was kind of bad like they was getting bad hold up Okay, yeah, so I can't breathe. I knew my tires was getting bad because like if it was wet on the ground, like it would um oof. My car would slide. I got a headache. So on the interstate, y'all, it had just this was after the freeze. If you live in Louisiana, then you know we just had a big old freeze and like it was ice everywhere. But the interstate was closed, but it opened i even messaged the news channel and everything and asked them like was it safe oh that scared me was it safe to drive and they told me yes yeah. so i got on the road now it was raining before i got on the road so the floor the, the ground was wet and y'all it was not raining when i was driving so basically i'm just driving and i guess i hydroplane which is like when you get in a puddle of water and your car slide so that's what happened i hydroplane y'all when when that oh my god when that happened y'all the camaro not this car the camaro was just doing it like donuts circle circle circles in the middle of the freaking interstate bro when i tell y'all i was just like oh my god i think i was screaming and crying and junior was just in the passenger seat and he wasn't saying nothing y'all so i seen the oncoming traffic coming towards us and like it was just spinning then it slid into the ditch i thought it was about to flip like it literally almost flipped like two or three times y'all and when it did when it went in the ditch like it wasn't spinning it felt like it but i realized that it wasn't spinning in the ditch it was just like zigzagging 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 like it was ready to flip because it was like the road then it's down then it's uh so i remember seeing a post that said like when your back wheels go one way you turn your front wheels that same way so i just kept every time my back wheels would go one way y'all i just kept turning my steering wheel the same way and we just landed in some water in the ditch and that's it we landed in the ditch in water in muddy water oh i did it and that's all like we literally just landed in the ditch and um I was crying and Junior, before we landed in the ditch, Junior was like, just stop, just stop. I think he was telling me stop turning my wheel. But my foot was on the brakes the whole time. And I remember somebody, they afterwards, my people was like, you shouldn't have your foot on the brakes. Baby, look, I ain't know what to do. So I just was doing what I was doing. <laughs> so once we was um, in the ditch, I was crying. And I was like, Junior, afterwards, okay, I called my mom, I called my mom on FaceTime. She never answered. I called my daddy and he answered and i was crying y'all my daddy thought i was doing a freaking prank i'm like daddy it's not a prank it's not so he was scared he starts he started like yo y'all hurt you hurt you hurt i'm like no we not hurt literally we never had no scratches nothing happened to us i just thank god that we was okay because if an 18 wheeler was behind us or like a big truck or just a whole bunch of traffic y'all 
we wouldn't have been okay. I promise we wouldn't have been okay. But, like, they didn't have any traffic behind us. And, y'all. So, I was like, Junior, why you wasn't saying nothing? Like, you was quiet the whole time. He was like, um, because, I don't know, I was just thinking. And we just bust out laughing after I was done crying. And I was like, what you was thinking about? He was like, I don't know. I said, what you was thinking, that you was about to die? Because I just felt like we was about to die. Like, I was so scared. Because, like, literally, the car, oh, my God, y'all, that was so scary. Car just spinning in circles in the middle of the interstate. The cops came after a while. And then the tow truck came. And, like, the cop just kept on telling us, we, it could have been a whole lot worse which i know like just like i said if they had more traffic it would have been way worse than what it was but the tow truck he pulled us out he well we got out the car shoes full of mud if you seen hold up if you seen my picture when i posted that i got my car because i was on the way to get this car so if you seen my picture that i post you are gonna see that my feet was full of mud that's why my feet was full of mud that's the that's the freaking reason why because of that but the cop and the tow man and everybody was just like man it could have been way worse it could have been way worse and i know i'm just happy that it wasn't so the tow truck pulled us out of the mud and like my car was just full of mud y'all it looked like i went mud riding so we got in the car and the um i didn't get a ticket or nothing and the cop followed us and he was he was telling me while we was in his car he was telling me he was like the reason you um the reason that you slipped off the road was because like you know the side of the road where you pull off at like if you need to pull off on the side of the road he was like that part had ice on it so once one of my tires touched that that's what made me fly into the ditch y'all i just oh it was so scary make sure y'all wear y'all seatbelts because junior did not have a seatbelt on so make sure y'all wear y'all seatbelts because that's a big precaution in it thank god we was okay because it like i said man it could have been way worse i my biggest fear is okay one getting kidnapped and two which that almost happened uh a man tried to kidnap me before if you want to hear the story about that just look on my youtube videos and you'll see how i almost got kidnapped story time so yeah that almost happened that's one of my biggest fear another one is dying in a car accident like just a car accident period i do not like car accidents like ugh, i do not so i was scared and then like i was driving it was just so scary y'all but like it really wasn't like a big story to tell i just know people wanted to know a lot of people was messaging me and checking on us and stuff like that like so worried about us because we really was in water so oh yeah once we got out of the water once he pulled our car out the um ditch the cop just followed us to make sure like everything was okay with the car and stuff and the tow man why he charged me 180 180 dollars to pull my car out the, the mud in water 180 dollars then they was like, well, you could drive it. The cop was like, you could drive it. I'll just follow you to make sure that y'all okay and stuff like that. He was like, when you drive, just make sure you drive very slow because, you know, your tires is full of mud. So that mud is going to be flying off and your brakes won't work as good because it's full of mud. So you just got to go slow for a while and let the mud, you know, get off the car. So the tow man, well, you want me to um tow it up there and then she could drive it? No. Because you already just charged $180. The cop was like, 180 effing bucks? He was a cool cop, y'all. He was like, 180 effing bucks? Come on, man. He could have charged you way cheaper than that. At least $60, $80. Y'all, that man charged that much. He charged too high for that. And he know he wrong for that. But, yeah. So, oh, shoot. Crap. I dropped the piece. I dropped the little diamond. So, that's all it was, y'all. But, yeah. For the people that wanted to know what happened, that's exactly what happened. Like, literally, exactly what happened. So, after that, I was paranoid to drive. I was so scared and nervous. But, I know one thing. This car is in perfect condition. Great tires. Everything brand new on it. So, I don't have nothing to worry about because it helps you avoid car accidents. 
with all these features that this car have. Because like I said, it's fully loaded. So it comes with a whole bunch of stuff. Like to prevent accidents and just extra stuff, period. But, oh no, no, no. Okay. I'm almost done with this. So once I'm done, I'm going to show y'all. Um, We're not going to put the license plate on it today. Because I don't have like a screw to like unscrew the stuff. But I'll just show y'all next time I do it. Okay, y'all, so I'm done. This is how it look. With the little bling on it or whatever. And then it got it right here, too. But it's still too plain for me. Like, I need something right here. Like, I don't know. It's plain, but whatever. Like I said, we're going to put the license plate thing uh, another day. But I just wanted to tell y'all what happened about the car accident. I guess I don't know if you want to call it a car accident because like nothing wrong with the car mm, I don't know but like I said thank you Lord for sparing us because that was very very scary make sure y'all be careful on the roads if it's raining too much and you ain't got an emergency stay in the house make sure you got some good tires because clearly mine wasn't good but don't forget to like comment and subscribe and don't forget to follow me on Instagram